Hello guys, it's me Zane and it's time for me to zoom out because I'm too close. Hello guys, it's me Zane and it's time for another collection update since it's the beginning of the summer and well, you know, now I can make the spring update because we can look back at what happened in spring with my orchids. So let's start this shit. Oh. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start my collection update here outside and as you can see I have this little fencing for my orchids so they don't fall down which is quite helpful for me. So this is my Calicetum planiceps which is still not blooming but growing a new growth. That's a cake. Here we have a Wanda Luzonica which is like growing, you know, it's a Wanda, it's growing, that's that. Well, I'm not sure about my ancestral Calis Rothschildianus because oh shit, I just see it has a new growth coming up there. Can you see that green thing there? Well, yeah, that is the new growth. A little bit late, but it's okay. Here is my Miltasia dark something with a f***ing lot of new growths. I mean, here is a new growth, here is a new growth, here is a new growth in the back. I have a new growth growing here, so I'm not sure how big the new the boobs will be, but I'm really hoping for some blooms, because it has nice blooms. Now, here we have the Katayaleko Peach Sun, still with some sunburns. It has a new growth growing here, and pretty much that's that. Katalia Princess Jackie, the new growth is matured, no she, new roots and new shoot is growing right there at the base, so that's great. My other, no ID hybrid white Katalia. Growing a new growth, but I don't think it will bloom because it's still too stressed and young. Here is my ring, re, 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 um, how are you called? What's your name? Oh shit, I forget the name. That breast of a ish type ish something. I will write the name on the screen. Well, I repotted it and she didn't like the repot, so she stopped growing the new growths. So that's not great. Here is my Epidendrum Red Hybrid, whatever, in bloom, but we're gonna make a special video about that. You know, we had the game. Here is my Hover Lava Burst Red Bug. Growing new growth, but it's dehydrated. But I don't know, this is the deal always with my Hoveras. They got dehydrated every time they grow the new growth. So I'm not sure about that. My Pupuka Sunset something, and I think the new growth is pretty much covered with spider mites, so I'm not touching it, but it's growing a new growth I will take care of the spider mites and it will bloom and it will be nice two other orcidiums this is one of the which was saved you can click on the info card in the corner so you will see the saving video it has a new growth so that's great and this is another one which is just growing you know I'm not sure about this one this is the Colmanara splash something now in the second part of this fencing stuff shit. Here is my yellow dendrobium nobili. Well, you know, they are nobilis. They are growing new growths at the time. So here we have some new growth. This is my repotted, by the way, uh, dendrobium nobili spring dream upon full of new growth. I mean, really just full of new growth. This is my Grammatophyllum scriptum variety citrinum. And the good thing is, look at what I see here. I think these are new growths and that's great. Epidendrum, pseudepidendrum, which was pretty much ruined by spider mites, but I got rid of them twice. Here we have the new growth, the crown of it, which is growing and that's great. <laughs> now here is my beautiful dendrobium nobili oriental smile fantasy. I had two new blooms on it, which were just grown out of the season and I didn't cut them because you know I'm a fancy bitch and I like blue so they are all developing and I have these two new growths on it just starting to leaf out but they're super big so they're gonna be big I can tell you they gonna be big Tricocentrum lancianum the roots are growing into the medium so that's great. They might be an eye which is plumping up there at the base. I'm not sure about that. I don't know the name. I will put the name on the screen. I have a few discolorations because of sunburn, but I have some really serious spotting going on because of the light and the summer and I like it. Maybe it's too much, but still I like it. So sorry. This is a dendrobium phonopsis which I bought because of the huge, really thick pseudobulbs. Well, they are not thick right now because the root system was shit when I repotted it and they it's growing a new growth with a lot of roots. A bunch of good roots just growing into the medium. Rinko style is gigantia. Not doing anything. You a ho. Brassa vola something. David Sanders. Not doing anything. Number two. You a ho too. Sophrolelio Cadlea. Little Hazel M. I don't think it will have blooms because 
We have gloomy weather. I will do a different video about it as the, my other ones which were in bloom and they are really beautiful and I love them. You are a good plant and I really hope you keep your new thing, your new habit that you bloom twice a year. Oh, my really sad back new finish of Alcada. You know. <laughs> It's growing really slowly because all the other crowns were rotted away and that's not great. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up a little bit my Epidendrum Brassavulae, but it still looks really, really unruly. What's your name? It's a Phalaenopsis Cornucervi variety Chatelade. Growing this new leaf and the new leaf shows up this uh, pigmentation in the center which means that it gets enough light. What's your name, bitch? This is a cross. It's a Uricone Galliandre and an orange Scotiana cross. Well, I have more of these. This one is growing this new leaf and some new roots, so that's okay. Here is my poor <laughs> Vandanaoki Kawamura. It's doing like shit. <laughs> he has a will to grow, so that's great. Here is my Bubofilm Echinolabium. Well, I repotted it, so the new growth is a bit smaller. As you can see, the size of the pseudobulb is smaller and this leaf is smaller too, but that's okay. For me, it's okay. Okay, then here are my Vandas and my Dendrobium uh, Lindley. I really was afraid that it will get some sunburn when I just bring outside but no sunburn happening next to my Vanda so yeah that's a lot of sun going on here all my other Vandas are just hanging out there my Gordon Dillon Blue which has a flower spike yeah bitch I said it's not gonna bloom because he just hates me and I scared the shit out of him in my different video because it almost fell on the ground it got scared, now it has a flower spike. So now I know what to do with my other orchids who doesn't want to bloom. Wanda Sandariana, just growing, you know, and my white Wanda, it's blooming, but I'm showing you it in a different video, bitch. <laughs> and here on the lower parts, here is my Wanda Hiroshima choice while growing. And the Paraphonus Slobokansis, well, the same, it's growing. <laughs> that is my Dendrobium Nobilis Spring Dream upon on a Kokedama, so. It's just growing there, you know, it's okay. And my other two Kokedama-ish style but potted plants, this is the longer one is the Dendrobium Ernestum and the shorter one is the Dendrobium Ophilum. Well, you know, they are just growing, it's summer, it's their growing time, they are growing nicely. Uh, this is my Bulbophilum longissimum. Well, it's growing and that's that. <laughs> Here we have a Bulbophilum lepidum, it's growing and that's that, I cannot say too much about them. Mounted Phalaenopsis, which is hanging out here at the moment. It always puts out some flowers. A low number in the summertime, so I'm not sure what's her deal, but it's okay. This one is another mounted Phalaenopsis. It's a mini Phalaenopsis, no ID hybrid. It's white and you know, it's just growing because it's their growing season. Here I have this semi-mounted Phalaenopsis. Well, you know, the same. It's just growing because it's the season for that. And now we enter the inside area where my birds try to talk to you as well because they don't let me talk to you only and while well, the space is empty and I'm under a bit of like a reconstruction thing okay not a real reconstruction but you know I'm just putting stuff here and there so it might be a bit of a mess so don't judge <laughs> here is my Puffio Pedalum American Hybrid with really huge flowers and some really huge a new growth somewhere there for example that is a new growth that leaf and there is another new growth growing on it somewhere so it's okay for me but I think it needs more Sun maybe <laughs> here on this place here we have my own Sidium Bartley Schwartz with some really nice and fragrant blooms but I'm gonna show these blooms in a different video well here in the back of this sewing machine which is a vintage stuff decoration thingy. Here we have two Phalaenopsis, a little bit of a saving and stuff like that. Two Phalaenopsis, this one is blooming, this is a summer blooming species hybrid thingy and I love this bloom. Uh, that one is a regular complex hybrid which blooms in the springtime or late winter. It's just growing, you know, it's in the season. How are you called? Epidendrum Parkinsonianum which extends to this point and well yeah it is finished maturing the new growth which did not bloom for me i'm not sure maybe it might needs like more sun or it just needs to like 
grow more but new growth already shows up well guess what who is this this is my Mazda Valia and I forget to pour out the water for a week from this decorative part so I rotted out a leaf <laughs> which is not great in between the two pane windows I have some more plants here this is my Pleurotalis stricta as I said in some of my previous videos I moved it here where it receives more sun which I can clearly see by the discoloration of these stems of these tiny stems of the leaves they weren't this red so that's great now I'm hoping for some flowers because it's due and here we have a real treat this is my other Pony Galia Andre crossed with the Arrange Scotiana la bitch look at that I will show you from closer. <laughs> now I can say, well bitch, look at that. <laughs> we have three new things growing here. This huge green thing in the middle, that's a new root. But this one here and that one there, which I'm not sure how can I show you because it's really growing between the leaves. Well guess what, those are two new flower spikes. And I'm just so excited because this should be fragrant and beautiful. I'm in love with weird monopodial crosses. So I'm just super excited about this one. Here in the other window sill thingy, here we have this Renantera Imshutiana, which has still no crown. <laughs> it just doesn't want to focus right. Okay, so here we have two bumps going on on the stem. Here we have another bigger bump. <laughs> well, they are growing out of places where should be available eyes and because Roots are just popping out from every side and from every height, but these are definitely the eyes which should produce flower spikes or new growth. A saved Cattleya Princess Jackie which had Fusarium, now it doesn't have Fusarium. The new growth is getting bigger and bigger, so that's great. And here is my Dendrobium Compactum. While it's growing, I'm hoping for some spikes in the autumn time. Here we have my Phalaenopsis Bellina growing a new leaf there at the top. That's great. It has only one suitable, so that's not the greatest thing. And here is my Calicidum Charles Worthy Acros with the Onithoides as well. This is the new growth. I'm not amazed by it. <laughs> I'm trying to save this Wanda with moss because it has no roots because I fucked this one up <laughs> a long time ago I mean I didn't even show you this one though for like in the past updates I think here is my fall of this shell Rihanna uh, the root tips started to grow once again after the blooming and right now it's doing its thing so that's great Yurikone Galliand Red Cross with the orange Scotiana this one is a seedling growing a new leaf tip there so that's what's happening with this one and I have another one Basically, it's the same, so I'm not gonna show you that. It's boring. <laughs> and this one is an unknown Hawk Blossom species, uh, well, in sphagnum moss because I'm trying to save it. This one is a pretty, pretty tiny seedling, so I have like no chances for it in my mind, but you know, still, I just keep it here. It's basically the same that in my last update and the update before that. <laughs> and we'll see what's gonna happen, but I see no growing from this one. Like, literally, nothing is happening with this one. Okay, here we have the next group of plants. Well, you see a lot of falls here. This is my Just Add Ice Orchid Experiment Orchids. They have mealybugs, so I have to treat them. Those little bitches need to suffer. Here are some other fun of this. Well, these are just growing. For example, this is one of my white falls, and there was something going on with the leaf. And then the leaf was pretty young at that time, so I put cinnamon in it and it seems the cinnamon stopped the infection and this is the extent of the leaf which it was capable to grow and right now it's producing a new leaf which is healthy and it doesn't seem to like have any problems so that's okay but I think this plant thought it's gonna have a crown rot so just in case it put out a cakey on the side there which is just growing maybe it's a flower spike but I really don't think it's a flower spike it must be a cakey there this is a no idea the red oncidium type. Something happened to it and then spider mites tagged it so it's in a rather stress period but I'm saving it. It's free of any pests right now and this section has this well, rather big new growth on it, so that's great. And this is my other ancestor, Kylos Rothschildianus. Well, this one is completely out of the season so right now it's just finishing with the new growth for this year and is going into dormancy in the summertime. Yes, <laughs> please. 
adjust yourself. And if I'm correct, this must be the last group of my orchids which I'm gonna present in this collection update because these are my last orchids. Here we have an Oncidium which I saved in together with you in the video and if you're curious about that check the video out in the info card in the corner or down in the description box bitch look at that fabulous root system it's oh so fucking gorgeous <laughs> this one made a pretty fast and a really good recovery look at that i can already lift up the pot by holding only the plant the root system is really nice and the new growth look majestic look at that this is the new growth on this part and the other part has this new growth which is well you know it's not that big but it's something and i'm hoping for some blooms from this new growth and i really want to see what type of Oncidium is this one. It's an intergenetic hybrid, but I'm really curious. Like us, the Aromatica, which was set back last summer when I went away for two weeks and when I came back, the fing spider mites ruined the new growth. So it had to start over another new growth. You can see the remains of that new growth here, this brown dried something. So it has a short time for producing another new growth. You can see how small this bulb is because of the short amount of time it had. Well, right now it's producing this new growth and it's not producing any blooms. So yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so this one is my saved Puffy Pedalum. We saved it together and you can watch the video down in the description box you can find the link while the new growth is growing there which is really nice and I hope some roots are growing inside the medium as well this one is a saved dendrobium found of this well it's looking great look at that we have a new growth there and some new root tips so that's okay saved found of this this is the Sogo Gotris well it was really 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 stressed when it put out two flower spikes for a plant which has a pretty shitty root system so it got stressed even more so right now it has some wrinkly leaves and stuff going on but some new roots and new leaves are growing so that's okay this is my Oncidium Catherine Zock with a majestic new growth look at that so I'm hoping for some flower spike from this one I'm sure it will have some flower spikes and a saving mood dendrobium found of this in sphagnum moss and the roots are growing into the sphagnum moss. There are some growing root tips and a new, uh, what is that, new growth. So I'm hoping for some great future for this one. Okay guys, so this is my collection update for today and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, click on the like button, leave a comment down in my know it all section and subscribe to this channel, my other channel and follow me on Instagram. And see you next time. Bye guys.